So Insta360 just announced they're launching a new camera on October 10. It looks really awesome. Now, they didn't show the camera, but has it been hidden in plain sight? So in this video, we're going to talk about this new camera, um, some predictions, um, some analysis of the video that they showed, and how it might look. Hi, my name is Mick and you're watching 360 Rumors, the resource that 360 shooters trust for in-depth camera reviews and innovative techniques. So what an amazing day. So first of all, uh, we had Oculus Connect 5 where Oculus launched or announced the uh, new Oculus Quest, this six DOF standalone VR headset with twin motion controllers and it looks amazing. But then Insta360 also posted this video with this new camera that shoots like ridiculous, amazing, epic videos that I mean, it, it just, it's just mind-blowing. I'll be honest with you guys. I have signed an NDA with uh, a non-disclosure agreement with Insta360. So I knew that there was a uh, new camera coming along. Uh, and I knew that it would be on October 10. Uh, but I didn't know that it had all these capabilities. I didn't, certainly I didn't know that it could shoot videos like what we saw. And that was just, you know, really amazing. So let's break it down. Let's take a look at this video. So everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video is basically what we can deduce from the video that Insta360 showed. It's not from like a spec sheet that they sent me or anything like that. So first of all, obviously it has slow motion. And um, I thought that it was like maybe 120 FPS, but I uh, played back the video at, you know, 400% speed and it still wasn't uh, natural looking in terms of the speed. So I speed it up. It took up to 800%. So it, this looks like actually it was like 240 FPS. So uh, I don't know if that's, you know, interpolated or that's really 240 FPS. But that's really crazy because um, it looks like, uh, like a combination of uh, 240 FPS and 360 at the same time. Now the current Insta 361 has... Uh, something called bullet time uh, where it can shoot at 120 fps but only in the front hemisphere so this one looks different because not only is it high speed either 120 or 240 fps and at the same time it's also 360 so it creates these new angles like like what we saw with, with these crazy shots next let's talk about stabilization so uh, first of all we already know that the insta 361 has excellent stabilization. This new camera seems to have uh, just as good, if not better, stabilization. So Insta360 was uh, showing this stabilization by comparing this new camera with the uh, Hero 7, which was just recently released, uh, and Sony's Action Cam. And you know, um, surprise, surprise, the new camera like totally dominates the Hero 7 and the uh, Sony uh, for stabilization. Next, let's talk about how we shoot this video. So it looks like this video was shot by throwing the camera. You could you could see in the shadows um, that someone was holding the camera and then throwing it. This raises a lot of questions. That sounds scary. Throwing a camera, aren't you gonna like uh, damage it? So um, does someone have to catch it? That that might be a possibility. Um, because in some scenes you you saw like there was someone with an, uh, an upside down umbrella uh, using that as a, to catch the the camera so maybe you do have to catch it but then again if you think of an umbrella it's got metal ribs and you know if I threw a, a camera uh, a 360 camera with unprotected lenses at that umbrella even then camera could get damaged so the next possibility is maybe the camera has some kind of reinforcement around the lens so that even if it uh, hits a hard surface, um, it won't get scratched or damaged. So the problem with that is that it, this is a 360 camera. So it, here's a 360 camera. It's, this is the Insta 361. And you can see that um, the, the fisheye lens, you know, has to see like everywhere. So if you put a frame around it uh, or protector or barrier or something to protect the lens you're also going to be um, obstructing the lens and um, if you look at the video um, you can see the stitch line 
um, where the two lenses meet and the stitch line looks pretty smooth and that would not be possible if it, if there was some kind of barrier around it. That leads me to the third possibility that maybe um, they have a lens cover that's very tough like maybe polycarbonate or something like that or this lens cover is um, not just replaceable but also disposable so i'm really curious how to see how insys vc solved this so now let's talk about how this camera might look so uh, they didn't show this new camera um, but in their other video they showed uh, kind of like a blurred version of this um, new camera and you can kind of see from the outline that it resembles the uh, shape of uh, Theta. This is the it's a 361 and this is the uh, Rico Theta and you could see the shape look looks more like this. The other thing is that if you look at Insta360's website, uh, you look at that logo where they announced this new camera, the, the logo, the, the, um, that graphic design looks like it might be the shape of this new camera. Um, you know, it looks like a theta lying on its side. Uh, and then there's these circles that, you know, they look like graphic design elements, but they could also actually be the lens. Like there's one circle there that looks like it might be the right location for a lens. So here's a mock-up of how the new Insys 360 camera might look like. Many 360 cameras like the Insta 61 or the Nano or the Nano S, they have an offset uh, design. So like you see, um, the lenses are not back to back. Uh, they're, uh, one lens is offset from the other. Um, now this one though, if, if you look at one of the videos, you can see that the lenses are actually back to back. So what does this mean? If the lenses are back to back, like the Theta, um, that probably means that they're using a folded optical path because um, you know if lenses are so close to each other and um, you have sensors then the only way for sensors to have room is to put the sensors on the sides and um, to make that happen you need um, like prisms to redirect the, the light from the lens they're gonna bounce off to the side and uh, so this one seems like it uses uh, that kind of design and um, that does some benefits for example um, you know compare the insta 61 and the theta the theta is narrower and with the lenses closer to each other you have less parallax stitching error so we can expect that the, the stitching will be smoother um, finally um, there's the name um, they, they have the tagline on the moment and I'm wondering if that means that the name of the camera is Insta360 Moment, like to take it literally. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I will be reviewing this camera, yes, uh, when it becomes available. And I can't wait to test it out and to show you guys. It looks like a really cool camera. So what do you think so far? Do you like the videos that the Insta360 showed? Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks and I'll see you in 360.